24-year-old Giselle Hartzog is transgender. She was kicked out of an all-women's shelter before and will be one of the first residents of Casa Ruby. And once they found out I was trans, they were very discriminating against me and um, wouldn't let me come back. Hartzog ran away from her hometown in Mississippi four years ago. Her mom did not approve of her son becoming a woman. It was a transition from me wanting to be who I wanted to be and my mother not so much seeing, seeing my point of view. She moved to Washington in 2011, where she frequently slept in the Central train station and resorted to prostitution to make money. She was arrested earlier this year and her probation officer recommended her to Casa Ruby. Shelter founder Ruby Corrado. It's a house where, you know, people can can be themselves and where they can be safe. And more importantly, for me, a place where they can be loved and where we can love one another. Young residents can live here up to 18 months and are mentored throughout their stay. Homeless advocates estimate that young people who are LGBT, that's lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, make up between 20 and 40 percent of the overall youth homeless population in the United States. That's 400,000 kids, some as young as 13 and 14. Often, they are turned away from shelters because of their sexual orientation. So much so, the Department of Housing and Urban Development issued new guidelines to shelters about allowing them in. I'm in a safe environment, food in my stomach, a roof over my head. So, I mean, I really can't ask for too much. Casa Ruby will have 18 beds and a closet full of donated clothes and shoes for newcomers who arrive with nothing. My intentions from the beginning was to offer, you know, LGBT homeless youth the same things and the same commodities that are awarded to many people in our city. And it's not just the things that will help residents, but the services, like help signing up for health care and substance abuse treatment. That support is the most important service, says Maria Foscorinas of the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty. In many states, um, youth cannot gain access to these services simply because of their age. So there are lots of different barriers that need to be addressed to really solve the, the problems confronting them. National statistics show that LGBT youth are over eight times more likely to try and commit suicide if they're rejected by their families. So for many of these young people checking in, Casa Ruby isn't just a new home, but the beginning of a new life. Janet Weinstein, VON News, Washington.